Well, hey, it's Robbo here, and a lot of you have seen a lot of these marketing bigwigs doing what are called these video live streams, where they broadcast live in order to promote an event, a product, during a product launch. But there is a way that you can now broadcast live all around the world, uh, even on YouTube, and it won't cost you a dime. So I want to walk you through very quickly how to do that. And there are a million ways you can apply it. It's very exciting. And uh, there are a couple things you do need. So the first thing you need is a Google account. Now, if you have a Gmail account, you already have a Google account. If you have a YouTube account, you already have a Google account. Uh, if you don't and you need a Google account, just go to the URL on this screen and sign up for your Google account. Now, when you do, you're also going to get access to something called Google Plus, which is it's like Google's Facebook. It's like their social network. So uh, after you sign up for your Google account, you're going to come over to google.com forward slash plus. And as long as you're logged into your Google account, here we are uh, at my Google Plus homepage. Now if you come up here to the upper right hand side, it says start a hangout. And that's exactly what we want to do. Click on start a hangout. The hangout window pops open. It loads. And here are all my kind of Google Plus pals. And you can actually see me right here down below in a little monitor of how I'm actually going to look once the Hangout starts. So first thing you do is you want to add the names uh, of people that you want to join the Hangout with. Now, I'm going to add Tracy Lawton because I actually told her I'm going to add her. But a lot of times, another reason how you can add a person is if, as long as they're in uh, as a friend of yours on Google Plus, you can add them and then you can interview them and they can actually join the conversation as the person you're interviewing. It's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is name this hangout. I'm going to call it Rob's Big Test Broadcast. Um, click on this little thing that says Enable Hangouts on the Air and it says Hangouts on the Air will you, your, use your YouTube channel. So the one thing you also want to do after you set up your YouTube account or your Google account is go up and use that same login information for your Google account to set up a YouTube channel. If you want to broadcast on YouTube, you got to have a YouTube account. So you click OK, got it. And next step is click Hangout. Now when you click Hangout, what you're going to end up with is this uh, box. And what that is, it just explains the terms and condition of you using this just like any other service, free service like Facebook that you've ever signed up for. So you click uh, approve and here you are. You've taken directly to uh, your Google Hangout. Now relax, you're not on the air yet. So um, you can look at yourself, you can make sure you're pretty and do your hair and adjust your lighting. Um, and then you're really ready to go. Also what you can do is you can wait. Remember I told you you can invite your, um, you can invite people to join your hangout. And this is especially good if you're interviewing people um, or you're having like a panel discussion. Again, there are a million ways you can use this. And they actually, when they join the discussion, they appear right down here below next to the, the little thumbnail of where you are. So um, there's also quite a few little options that you can use. There's actually a uh, chat functionality. So I can come up here and say, hey, how is everyone? And it shows up here and the people who join the, the chat can actually chat with you. Uh, there's a little screen share feature where uh, you can actually share any currently open window on your computer screen. Um, so you can show documents, you can show photos um, through the screen share feature. Uh, this cameraman feature right here allows you to control the visibility of other participants. Uh, people who join your Hangout and are appearing down below, if they want to speak, you want to make sure they're featured in this big video window. A Google Drive allows you to access any documents, word processing documents, slideshows that are actually in your Google Drive. Google Drive is, is, a, is a free application that you get when you sign up for a Google account. It has word processing, it has presentation software, so you can add those to your presentation. 
And these Google effects, they add funny little glasses and mustaches. I don't think you'd really be interested in using that. Um, so the next step is to actually broadcast. So a couple things I want to show you on that is right up here there's this little embed link. So if we click on embed, this is an actual link right here on YouTube where once I go live I'll actually be broadcasting live on YouTube. How's that? And also right here is some HTML embed code. So let's say I have a launch page or um, a page on my website or in a blog that I want this video to stream through. That is where this uh, can actually use this embed code and it'll actually show up on a web page. So that's pretty cool. When you're ready to start the broadcast, just click Start Broadcast. And it'll tell you, yes, you're broadcasting publicly, so just a little. And then up here on the right, there's a little button that counts you down. Six seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. And ta-da, you are live. And here we are back on Google Plus after we do our presentation or our interview or whatever we're doing. We click on End Broadcast. And broadcast has been successfully terminated. So, um, and you're done. And there's a recording of your broadcast, number one, in Google Plus, and number two on YouTube. So let's take a look. Now, I, because I know a lot of you are kind of freaked out that, oh my God, what if I record something and I make a fool of myself, it's okay. So here we go back to Google Plus. As you can see, my Hangout is showing up here. Uh, kind of in my feed, but what I can do is come over here to my profile. The way I access my profile is I just click on my little picture here and it says View Profile. And here I am on my profile. Here's my Google Plus broadcast. I come up here to this little downward facing arrow. I click on that. I click Delete this post. Delete it permanently. Delete. And post deleted dismiss and for some reason it's still there so let's click delete this post again delete this post permanently there it is so it's gone so my post is gone from Google Plus now let's pop over to YouTube here I am on YouTube I come up to my little profile picture click on the downward facing arrow access video manager Here's my live broadcast right at the top. Click the little checkbox next to my live broadcast. Click Actions. Click Delete. And it's gone. Now let's say you did a great broadcast and you want people to actually be able to view it. You'll be able to share your YouTube link with them or embed it on a site or a blog so they can continue to see it. So pretty cool. A way to broadcast worldwide live on Google Plus, live on YouTube, live on any blog or website you have for a million different uses. You can do interviews, you can do solo broadcast. It's really, really pretty amazing. <music>